This brightly colored semi-aquatic bird may remind you of a duck or a loon, but it's actually closer to a flamingo. On this episode of Animal Analysis, Podiceps oratus, the horned grebe. During the mating season, in late April and early May, horned grebes perform elaborate displays to attract and bond with a mate. These include erecting the yellow horns, or crest feathers, as well as side-to-side -side head turning and carrying weeds during display. During this time, and the following nesting period, individuals and pairs become very territorial, with varying threat displays. One such display involves the grebes going into a forward posture with the neck along the water surface and chasing the intruder, sometimes even underwater. Pairs may also hunch and fluff their feathers up and chase off intruders together. When retreating, or indicating submission, intruders assume a furtive upright posture, with all plumage except a black tuft on the head slooped down. In addition, when beaten in combat, they may assume a prone position along the water to indicate submission. The horned grebe has a wide distribution across the northern hemisphere, from across North America to the UK to Scandinavia to Japan. Each year, it migrates north into Canada, Scandinavia, the Baltics, and Russia to breed. Despite appearing similar to waterfowl, grebes are sister to the flamingos of the order Phonocapteriformes. To date, there is no complete phylogeny of grebes in the order Podicipetiformes, family Podicipetidae, based on molecular studies, and results of morphological analyses vary. Though some limited studies suggest the Podiceps, which contains the horned grebe, being sister to the South American genus Rolandia. Within Podiceps, the horned grebe is sister to Podiceps griskina, the red-necked grebe. The alternate or breeding plumage, present from March to September, features reddish sides, a white underbelly, black wings and head, as well as the namesake yellow horns, or crest feathers. The basic or non-breeding plumage, shown here, features a black crown and a white cheek patch with grays and whites on the rest of the body. This can make it quite difficult to distinguish from the basic plumage of the eared grebe, which overlaps in range with the horned grebe. The eared grebe has a gray smudge behind the eye and a less clear border between the cheek and the crown. Eared grebes are also slimmer, though this is a difficult field mark without comparison. You can see in this diagram the comparison between the eared grebe and the horned grebes non-breeding plumage. Horned grebes mainly feed on arthropods such as insects as well as crayfish, along with fish, which are the main source during the winter. Like other grebes, horned grebes consume feathers that line their stomach, possibly to slow down digestion, so fish bones and arthropod exoskeletons can be completely dissolved before entering the small intestine, which may otherwise be damaged. Grebes also regurgitate balls of feathers and other non-digestible bits. The feathers may assist in formation of these pellets and the removal of parasites from the esophagus. Grebes spend almost their whole lives on the water, even nesting in clumps of shoreline plants. This is partially due to the difficulty or inability to walk on land. The far back limbs that make them great divers makes it impossible to walk like a duck and the weight distribution makes it incredibly difficult for grebes to walk upright, as seen in this diagram. The feet of grebes also aren't webbed like a duck. Each foot contains three lobed toes, more like coots, that allow them to swim more efficiently. It's April, and this male horned grebe is preparing for mating season. He has staked a territorial claim on the stormwater pond. He's got to look good for the females he wants to attract, and for the rival males he wants to intimidate.
What's this? A young rival male enters his territory. The resident male erects his crest feathers and crouches down, ready to defend his territory from the arrogant intruder. The young male sleeks his feathers and crouches in a display of submission. It seems the resident male is too intimidating for this youngster to handle. Horned grebes are an incredibly interesting species. Until next time on Animal Analysis.